Hello, you guys. Welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you're catching this part, you are probably catching the replay. Make sure to comment hashtag replay. Let us know that you are here and that you saw this. And if you're hopping on while we are live, say hello. I'm going to go ahead and get this pinned. And we'll get started in just a second. I'm going to get some sharing done. But say hey as you hop on. Christine will comment back and say hi to you as soon as she's... Oh, are you on, Christine? Yeah, I'm on. Okay. I'm She's in her, on. not in her normal spot, so no, I didn't know. Hi, Kendra. Welcome. Hey, second. Jess. Welcome, welcome, you guys. Welcome to tonight's live. It's Wednesday again, and Christine is back. I'm here. She's here. I so. didn't join the circus. <laughs> Yeah, there was talk last week that she might be joining the women's circus, riding her um, Harley. What was it? On a tightrope? On a tightrope with an aerialist <laughs> balancing underneath. Yeah, can you even imagine? So thankfully, the Lord brought her back to us and she's here. We were joking because I'm like, how much did they pay for that? Because I doubt, you know, that it can be that good. But I guess, I mean, you never know with the circus. Well, the thing is, is that Rachel keeps threatening that I can't go on vacation again. <laughs> and so if that's the case, I'm joining the circus. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's the deal. So I guess I just can't threaten that she can't go on vacation. Right. But but she is back with us today, so we are back to normal. But Jake was a great fill-in last week for while she was gone. Um, and he actually really enjoyed himself, I think, being here. So it was fun to switch things up just a little bit. But hello, hello, you guys. Say hey as you hop on. I'm just doing my little bit of sharing and getting this um, share to the group and all that jazz. So say hey, and if you guys have shared well, you're um, if you're sharing for us, thank you. We super appreciate you guys sharing because that's what helps us grow and all that fun stuff. So oh, I think I'm almost ready. I'll send a little push notification to our app and oh, mom said that Reese says hello. Oh, hi Reese. Yes, we were just at my son's baseball game. He had a double header tonight, so we left before the second game started. But it's always this like jaunt to get there, hang out, watch him play, and then um, get back here to hurry and get ready, make ourselves pretty, and all that stuff before the live. But it's so fun. I was just talking to Christine and Ian about how fun it is watching them as they learn um, and get better at playing and all that stuff. So my Lucas is on a 9U or 8U travel team. Um, so it's just getting to that little bit more of a competitive where they're like actually learning the game and knowing what to do and all that. So it really is like super fun to watch. Um, so that's what we were out doing right before this. And I need to go ahead and send this push notification and then we should be ready to go. So say hello, you guys. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. So happy to be here with you. We have a fun lineup tonight. Lots of good, good stuff. Um, so we can't wait. Uh, let me get on here and get this going. And then we should be good to go. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you all here. Happy Wednesday. It has been a busy week. It was crazy last week without Christine. <laughs> it's amazing because I'm like, you know, I used to do this by myself. I can handle it, but I can't. <laughs> Reality, I can't handle it by myself. I hide things to make it more difficult for her so she <laughs> has to want me back. <laughs> so I have to rely on her being here. No, it's good though. It makes you so much, you know, just appreciative of each other. I think that we both have experienced one of us being gone and being like, oh, this is a little different. Well, and I wasn't used to being in front of the camera all night. <laughs> yeah, it's of. different. It is different. So, okay, let me send this. Yes, job security. <laughs> and then I've got the circus as a fallback if it doesn't work out. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. I thought I was like super speedy today, but now all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I feel slow. Um, okay. Paste, send. Okay. 
I think we are good. Hello. Thank you guys. Yes, this top is super cute. Super, super good stuff today as always. So welcome, welcome. If you are new here, thank you for joining. This is a live sizing and styling guide. We are going to go over the fits, fabrics, and all the details of the new goodies releasing tonight. And then immediately following the live, you can shop the app or sh and shop the website, either place, where you can shop and snatch up all of these new goodies that are releasing and of course anything else that's on the site. Um, and make sure if you don't have the app to download it because we do send push notifications for reminders there. There will be, and we have done a few exclusive sales only to the app. Um, so it is a good thing to have. You can download it for free on Google Play or the App Store. Just search a boutique by Rachel Clark or just search Rachel Clark. You should be able to find it. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please let us know throughout the live. Like we said, Christine is back here, so she will gladly try anything on of the new goodies that are releasing. So that way you guys can see them on her if you would like. Um, but otherwise, I think we can probably go ahead and get started. Let me get you all right comment. and yeah such good stuff so just a little rundown of me while i'm waiting for my comment to come up i am rachel so if you're new hello and i'm about a size 6 8 i tend to be a small on top medium on bottom or a 7 in judy blues if you're familiar with that sizing that's usually my go-to and we will tell you if you we think that you need to size up or size down in something if you can size flex and all that stuff but if you have questions please let us know throughout the live and we will gladly answer the best that we can um and we have good stuff tonight so just hang out relax grab a beverage and um spend your evening with us and then you can shop the site so first up is the keeping watch dolman top and this is available in sizes small through 3x we try to carry everything we can in the full size run in small through 3x or extra small if we can get it and then also jeans in sizes 0 to 24 so quite a range of sizes um this top you guys absolutely adorable it is a brushed hachi like so so soft I put this on earlier just because every now and again I like to throw something on or we like to test can you wear this off the shoulder and so I threw this on and I'm like oh my gosh it is so so soft so I have some really cute colors in this and I know we're in that time I'm going to be talking about transitional pieces and this is going to be one of those that is really great for that it's a nice lightweight material that brush Tachi so super duper soft and you've got the coral the teal and then some creamy color underneath that leopard print which really gives it a good um, color basis for transitioning from summer to fall. It is a dolman style, so dolmans are a little bit roomy up top, and then they tend to be a little bit more fitted in the hips, but yet this material is nice and stretchy, so it's not super snug. And dolmans you can style a couple different ways. You can wear them nice and long if you like, or you can wear them a little bit more bunched up, so you have a little bit of gathering. You can even tuck them under, so that way they're a little bit of a shorter style. You can do a front tuck, like you can style this shirt several different ways just depending on your likeness and then you can wear it off the shoulder like I had or you can wear it on the shoulder and it's just going to give you a little bit more of a boat neck style but not super wide so if you had, had just a regular bra on you're not going to see it but it's super cute layered with a bralette I have it here with just our ivory um, bralette so to give you that off color you know with the off white and it's super comfortable. It does have a cuff at the sleeve, but again, nice and stretchy material. This would be one, my recommendation would be stay true to size so that way you have that intended fit with the blousing kind of up top. And then that roominess in the hips um, where it's, it's still fitted, but not super, you know, snug on your hips and you have some roominess to it. This one does come in extra large and 1X. So it looks like Christina is throwing it on so you guys can see it on her. But it's a nice sleeve length. Definitely a good length sleeve so you don't have to worry about that being too short. I threw on a fun bracelet stack, which last week, you guys, we brought in a ton of new bracelet stacks. They are so cute. Great sets. And then once you get a few, you can mix and match them. And you'll be able to like pair your own sets and have some really cute combos. So this is a really good one with it, with that minty color. And we have a ton of our biggest selling earrings. Tonight we are restocking. So we're going to show you some of those. And if you have the restock notification set on your app, then you probably were notified of some of them as they came in. But this one is one of our most popular because it's such a great color. It goes with so much. And it is the mint bamboo. Um, it just has a really great texture. It's leather, super super duper lightweight and a nice size. So it's not too big if you don't like a big, bold earring, but it's a great color and it really goes with so many pieces. So you guys are going to just love it. I have a pair with the Judy Blue. Oh, what are the name of these? Oh, oh I think I still have it up they here. Are the 
Judy Blue Heavy Hand Sand Release Hem Skinny Jeans. Release Hem Skinny Jeans. These released last week, you guys, and sold like crazy. So make sure to snatch them up before your size is sold out. We don't always know if we can restock Judy Blues or when they will create more. So make sure to get them. Now, these are ones that I am still in my normal size 728. However, they have a little bit less stretch than we're used to with Judy Blues. So if you like that comfort fit in them, you like that little bit of extra stretch, then I suggest going up one size. If you size up in the white or you size up in the black, if you're familiar with that, then I would say go up the one size in these so that way you have that little bit of extra room as they are not quite as stretchy as we are used to. But dang, you guys, these are so cute and everybody has loved them. So if you haven't gotten them yet, make sure to get them. They are non-distressed, except that they have that nice hand sand, so you get some great color variation. And then they have a little bit of that like cat scratch, we kind of call it, where it just has that little bit of wear on them, um, but there's no holes in them. So a lot of people have found that these would be work appropriate. So, okay, I think that covers this. And Christine's going to come on out here while I go ahead and get changed. I'm gonna try. I'm oh, you guys, shoe on. Like I said, so many um, earring restocks. You guys are gonna love the ones that we brought back. Um, and then a bunch of new shoes today too. A huh? bunch of new shoes. A bunch of new shoes. I can wait to talk about them. I can wait. I can wait. I just, it's early, so I needed to put shoes on. Hi! I missed all of you last week. I mean, I watched from afar, but I missed being here and seeing all of the fun. So it's nice to see you girls tonight. Um, for anybody new here, thanks for joining us. I am Christine. I'm Rachel's sister, and I am typically a size 14, 16 in pants, and I wear anywhere from a large extra large to a 1x in top so rachel's going to show you everything in small and if you want to see it in curvy or plus size feel free to ask i'm happy to pop anything on and come on out here and see y'all so i've got this lovely beauty on and i am wearing the extra large in this brand there's an extra large and a 1x and i have a little bit of room in it but I would not drop down a size. I would stay in this extra large because what that allows you to do, I didn't put a bralette on like Rachel. Um, I just have a regular bra and so pretend that this is a very pretty lazy bralette. In this size, I still have enough room and stretch to drop it off the shoulder. So this is my true size. The extra large, again, there is also a 1X. So if you tend to be more of a 16, 18, that's when you would wanna wear the 1X in this brand. Anybody who's in a 14, 16 range, stick with the extra large. And even if you're a 12, 14 and a little bit bustier, you can definitely get away with that extra large. There's plenty of stretch down at the bottom, so it's never gonna feel too snug, but it's gonna be if you're bustier than Rachel and I are and you want that room up top. But stay true to size in this, what the fabric is. The fabric content is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So really great blend on this, super soft. And I don't think that Rachel mentioned it. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the newest gender reveal top. So none of you have invited me to wear the t-shirt or the dress or the poncho. So now I'm giving you a long sleeve option to invite me to, into fall where I can show up in a gender reveal with long sleeves. So. There it is, just in case you wanted an invite. Are you wearing these shoes out here? Mm, yeah. Let me just give you a peek. Don't ever talk about them. All right, I'm gonna get another comment. I'll see y'all again soon. Yeah, the new gender reveal. When I put it on earlier, which like we said, we don't normally put a lot on before the lives. Um, but that one I was like, oh, I think you can wear it. Cause she was like, why do you have a bralette pair with this? And I'm like, cause I think you can wear it off the shoulder. And so we double checked and she's like, you know, that's like the, baby re or gender, gender reveal, reveal. 2.0 top. And I was like, yes, it is. <laughs> um, so, okay, here is another fun one. We're just waiting for the comment to come Sorry, up. And you guys, I, I always forget up. during a live and even sometimes taking my photos, like we sell belts. So there are belts as accessories on the site <laughs> with measurements. Um, so you guys will know the belt sizing. I still am working on trying to find a belt that comes in a full size run. It's very difficult apparently, um, but we do have a selection of belts 
and the measurements are on there so you should know if they um, will work for you or not. But next up, you guys, is the Storyteller short sleeve top. Um, this is another fun one that's really kind of this fun abstract print. And I just love that you get these cool colors in here. Again, good transitional colors um, with the fun animal print in there. It has this cute little sleeve that is cuffed and then it's tacked in several places so that we don't have to worry about that falling out. Um, a nice crew neck. So it just is a nice solid neck. Material on this is a great weight. It's like a baby French terry, but super soft. And, but it's a nice weight. Again, transitional piece. This is 68% per, polyester, 29% cotton, 3% rayon. And I love the back on it because it has just this detail here across the shoulder where it has a little bit of gathering. So it just gives you a little bit of extra room in the back. So a little bit of flowiness to it. I will show it to you untucked. I like the tucked look with it, um, but you can absolutely wear this untucked. It does have a curved hemline. And so you can wear it out if you like that idea better. Like I said, I like that little front tuck, but I just love the mix of colors that you get in this. And I think that's going to be really cute to layer with some different pieces in the fall. Um, again, still paired with that same pair of denim, but I have a new shoe on. If y'all didn't catch that from Christine, um, we have the Holly, uh, which is like a Hey Dude dupe, um, available releasing today in gray. And you'll see a few more colors, but I am an eight and a half nine and I'm in the eight and a half very comfortably in this one. Um, some of those other ones we've talked about, you can size down half a size in. Did you size down or what size did you stay? I'm in the 10. You're in the 10 and I'm an eight and a size. half, sometimes nine. So in a lot of closed toed shoes, I find I have to go with a nine. These I'm very comfortably in the eight and a half. I wouldn't go down to the eight. Like I wouldn't size down half a size there, but from my closed toed shoe size being a nine, I'm in the eight and a half in this very comfortably. In most sandals, I do an eight and a half. And in this one, eight and a half comfortable. They all come in half sizes, um, up to size 11, no 10 and a half but there are half sizes all the way from six up until 10 and then there's size 11. So they are awesome, super duper lightweight. I know so many of you have gotten some of these from us already and you love them. So they are just the best to throw on tennis shoe. Even if you stayed in the eight and a half, like, like me, if I stayed in this, I'd be able to wear a thin sock just fine. If I was going to wear a thick sock, like a thicker cotton sock, I'd probably want to go up to the nine, but otherwise stay in your normal size. They are just so cute, super comfortable, and like the perfect gray that's a great neutral. So I think those are wonderful. I think y'all are gonna love them. But I'm gonna go ahead and change. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. The gray of that Holly is just fantastic. When I opened it, I love that it's such a light gray because you can get away pairing that with charcoal or black or so many different shades of gray. Sometimes if you get something that's too dark, you feel like it's not gonna pair well and that you don't wanna wear a super dark gray shoe with something. That one's just a sweet one. Like even with, I feel like even with tan or khaki shorts, it could read a little more on that taupe side and yeah. match. It's a great, great Yeah, because color. I think like with these gray pants, um, I felt a little limited looking at some of the charcoal shoe options. Like, hmm, is this gonna clash? Is it the right gray? But that light gray, it really is such a good one, I think, for any season. Like, they're going to be a really great transitional shoe, and they're so comfortable. So, okay. Your shoe selection, from what you've had in here, is dwindling. I've had to come pull a couple this week. <laughs> <laughs> we need to restock your shoe choices back yes, here. I think so. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Sorry. Just changing my earrings quick. All right. <laughs> you want to see, you'll see the back of my hair. I'll turn around in a second. Um, okay. I'm ready for my comment it's whenever you're going to send way. it through. Pulled out some cute earrings, you guys. I love these double layer earrings. Again, they're big and they're bold, but they're really lightweight. And so they come in several different colors. Y'all are going to love them. They are so cute and they are that cute bamboo texture. Um, but I love this paired with this dress. So this is the time after time midi dress available in sizes small through 3X. 
and I've had a lot of requests for midi length dresses, things that are a little bit safer than doing some of the above the knee. And this is a really cute one that's gonna again be a good transition. We're gonna everybody, if you're drinking every time I say transition, like we talked about a few weeks ago, you're gonna be drunk. Christine is just mad. She doesn't want to talk about transitional dresses. Um, but this is baby suede, so it is 95, I believe, percent polyester, five percent spandex. Where is my Where's my tag? It should be on the, it's usually on the left of them. Non-existent. <laughs> Do you have the only one without a tag? <laughs> Unless it's in the top in this. Oh yeah, it's up oh, here. Oh, there it is. It's up here. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it's baby suede, super soft, nice and stretchy. Like look at how much stretch there is in this, but it's a nice fit when I'm not stretching it. So these are gonna be true to size. They are ones that like if you're in between sizes, sometimes a medium, sometimes a large, go with the medium in this one because of the amount of stretch in it and it just having a roomy body. Um, but I love the print on this. So it's this pretty sage background. It's got these great flowers that have some pinks and yellows. And then these are even um, some little petals here that are more in your teal color range. So they are a really good one too for accessorizing some of the, in some of those darker colors. Three quarter length sleeve and then tiered body. And with this being a solid print, um, you don't necessarily notice the tier so much, but it gives you that great full skirt um, and in line shape. So even if you're hippie, this is a really flattering dress. It hits under the bust line, a little above your natural waistline, but so comfortable and so cute. And like we said, midi length, so it's hitting below the knee on 5'7 for reference. Um, but this is just a really great go-to dress. Easy, cute for showers, cute even, I mean, if you're going to a little bit more of a casual wedding, this is absolutely adorable. I have it paired here with the originator in, oh, this is the cream. And this again, just as your pretty sandal that has these great kind of gunmetal details to it, but these polka dots that really make it so that you can pair it with black, you can pair it with brown, you can tie it in with a lot. Um, and even though like this is a print and not exactly the same, it's a really great go-to sandal. Also available in a gray and a black. So these sandals are really good. Run true to size. If you have a wide foot, size up half a size. So again, I'm in the eight and a half. I'm also comfortable in the nine. So if you're on the fence, you know, it's hard sometimes ordering online with shoes. Like, what do I do? If you're on the fence, do I do the eight and a half? Do I do the nine? It's okay to do the nine, but really they're quite true to size. And I'm kind of end to end in the eight and a half. So anyways, I think that covers this one. So pretty, such a great soft dress. If you have questions, let us know, but I think Christine's gonna hop on out here in this one too. Oh, let me show you the back of my hair for those who ask. I haven't looked at the back. Um, but I did just get a haircut on Saturday. Some of you might have noticed my hair was quite long before and I was like, chop it, it's gotta go. I was trying to let the back grow and I was like, nope. So I'm a little bit shorter um, than I was last week. And yeah, I, but yes, there are pictures on Facebook of the my hair in a few angles if y'all need to find them or message me and I can send you a picture with all the angles. Um, but my favorite haircut, I can't get rid of it, can I? I've had it forever. You can't, no, you know how the Rachel was iconic because of Friends? This is the new <laughs> Rachel 20 years later. The amount of questions that roll into the business page just about her hair, it is the new Rachel. <laughs> We really, I mean, people ask her what the style is, and we're like, it's the Rachel. It's yeah, just I don't the know Rachel. what else to call it. Do I, have, do I have snack holes in here? No, no snack holes. <sighs> Bummer. Still a really awesome dress. Okay. <laughs> so I am in my true size. This is the extra large 1X. And this brand, there's only the one extra large 1X. I'm not exactly sure how Rachel has it listed on the website. 1X. But, I usually okay. go with, by the label. Usually go what's on the label. So this is the 1X. This is my true to size in this brand. Absolutely love the fit of this it is so comfortable just that little baby elastic right here to give you some definition i think this is actually the smallest part on my body so i love <laughs> when, when there's an accentuation right there because it really sucks it all in and then my favorite my second favorite part is when i get really lazy with posture it's still it doesn't look that bad when i just when i just stay lazy do you ever see those pictures of yourself and you're like oh goodness i have got to work on shoulders back standing up straight that's always the worst when you don't know you're in a picture 
picture and then oh boy there's the picture so really flattering all the way around great comfortable fit good accentuation of the upper waist you know the thinnest part and then super comfy flow to it and like rachel said it's fun that it has the tiers but because it's a solid fabric a solid print it doesn't change each tier they're almost just lost in that design so oh look at that flow to it and then i just put a little wedgie on with it so that you know how rachel said you could dress it up a little bit if you put a wedge on if you put an espadrille on something that will make it Whoa. wedding -worthy. espadrille that's a big word. It's the it's the braided style like, I like that. It's oh, a pretty okay. word. Yeah. It's just a wedge, but a different <laughs> style of wedge. I mean, this is why I remember the names of shoes. It's just my thing. So stay true to size in this one. No need to size flex one direction or another. You know, because it is so stretchy, if you happen to be between sizes, I think you could go with your smaller of the two because there is still quite a bit of room in here. So just a fabulous dress to be able to wear with, you know, flat sandals out to a Sunday brunch or put a pair of heels on great jewelry and you've got a wedding dress. Okay, not if you're the bride, but a <laughs> guest wedding dress. <laughs> All right, I think Ray is ready with her next I'm outfit, ready. so I'll see you again in a little bit. I'll talk about these earrings. What, you what did I put on? Okay, so um, one of our biggest selling earrings, y'all, I'm sure a lot of you have these or you're familiar with them. These are our biggest Texas round teardrops. And good golly, they are so pretty. Again, super lightweight. They just dangle so nicely and they have so much sparkle that they look like they are a high-end earring and they are we love them they're great quality but um they're a really great price point so y'all are gonna love 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 these little dangles and especially because they dangle they get a little bit extra glitter um shine there in the light so they also come in black restock today all of these were sold out um and then silver i think this is like our fourth restock of these the silver i think might be like my absolute favorite because of how like glittery they are and they look like these big old diamonds and then they also come in this beautiful rose gold so these are a must have i can't tell you how many people um have ordered them and come back and ordered all of the colors because they are just great basics that you can wear with anything and they are just like that pretty like little bit of something that dangles there and if you were to lose one or you were to break one it's not the end of the world you can always come back and grab another pair so those are awesome um, did you give me my comment and no, I missed I was, it? Okay. I was letting you talk about She was letting me. She was letting me you on. Comments, <laughs> catching up. So I think we were talking about like maybe officially kicking off fall next week. Yuck. No, we weren't. Yuck. She says no. <laughs> but um, we are going to see, see a few transitional pieces tonight. So I apologize for saying this word so many times today, but they're really good pieces for transitioning. Um, next one is the Catch Your Breath Pullover. Did I name it that or did you? I didn't name any of them. <laughs> Apparently, I knew that. The Catch Your Breath Pullover available in small through 3X. Um, and you guys, this is really cute. This is where I failed to bring a bralette or put a bralette on with this one. So this has a super cool, like, wide um, boat neck with it and this really cool paisley print in a black and ivory, lightweight baby French terry. So it's like that sweatshirt material, but lightweight. Uh, fabric content is 65 poly, 32 rayon, 3% spandex so you do get some stretch and some give with it again it's a little bit of that dolman shape just a wee bit um it is banded along the bottom and also banded at the sleeve so you get that little bit of blousing kind of there in your sleeve and this is absolutely adorable to wear like this so if you're a little bit more traditional and you don't like to wear off the shoulder this is a great piece like this and again the colors are so good that you know being in there just basic black and white that you can absolutely dress this up and then it is also one that easily because sometimes we um think we can wear something off the shoulder and then you pull it off the shoulder and you're like well this is uncomfortable <laughs> and it's like sliding up and so the whole time you're out or wearing it you're readjusting it well this is super comfortable off the shoulder so you could for sure pair this with a black bralette or even a color if you wanted to throw in a pop of color it'd be super cute to throw in a red or some other color with this since it's black and white and so neutral so this again true to size it has some stretch in that band in the bottom so even if you're hippie 
Um, I'd say stay true to size. In between sizes could probably go down a size because of that roominess. Um, but otherwise, true to size, so you have that nice relaxed fit, but it still has a great shape with having that banded bottom. And then I have this paired with a new pair of Judy Blue Mid-Rise Destroyed Capris. These are a nine and a half inch rise, so they are considered mid-rise, hitting me just at the bottom of my belly button. And a 20 inch inseam. Um, and Destroyed, these are not heavy Destroyed. So there is some distressing in the knee area. As you can see that these are a lighter wash. They have a little bit of that kind of cat scratch, I guess is what we call it, on the sides um, and then some on the pockets. But these are super comfortable. Again, a little bit of a lighter wash. They are cuffed with about a one inch cuff, I'd say maybe slightly less, that you can uncuff if you want, and that's gonna give you a, a little bit of a frayed hem there along the bottom if you uncuff it. But if you like that little bit, wee bit more length on them, you can absolutely uncuff them. Um, but these are so comfortable, run true to Judy Blue sizing. I'm in my 728 with nice roominess, good stretch to them. I can grab it. Nice stretch to them. So they are super comfortable. And um, like I said, some distressing, but not crazy. So if you're like, I can do a little bit of distressing, but not super wild. This one has just that little bit. And again, a nice threading on it that gives you coverage. And I think that the distressing blends in a little bit more in the lighter wash. So if you're just easing your way into distressed jeans, this would be a good one um, because it doesn't like pop out at you in like crazy dark colors with that really light threading. So, so comfortable, so good and another new shoe so this is the holly again so the holly releasing today um and in black so we have gray and black and other ones too you're gonna see but great basic same sizing as the other the gray holly that we talked about i'm an eight and a half or a nine i do the eight and a half very comfortably in these for being in closed-toed shoes stay true to size um, if you flex like I'm a nine and closed toed, I'm staying in the eight and a half in these. I don't need to size up. So great basic, you guys. You're going to absolutely love these super lightweight. And I don't even know exactly what the price is on Hey Dudes or other comparable shoes, but these are $35. So that is a steal um, that y'all are going to want to grab. But they are awesome quality. So good. Cushy sole inside. So they're so comfortable. They kind of form to your foot after a while. Um, you will love them. So these will be releasing today and I'm going to go ahead and get changed again. Christine, you're so quiet. I'm just answering things. <laughs> She's just working. Working away back there. <clears throat> just working. Just working. All right. See you guys, I keep, I go to this originator in cream. It's like my go-to because it matches everything. So when I'm like, what's oh, easy and goes with everything? Oh, the originator, that's what I'm gonna put on. Although this Holly, this is also available on the site. Not new today, new last week, but this hot, hot pink could be cute too with this. So another option, um, but. I did not oh, have your comment up That's yet. okay. I was looking I for I, the Judy Blue sizing guide. I was going to change my earrings anyways. You go ahead and you change those. I will. I'll throw on these little, little bracelets, throw on some other earrings. You guys are going to love this. So the kimono that we had last week went like crazy um, because they're so cute for styling and wearing. Not as just what we think. Sometimes a kimono is a beach cover up. Um, but you're going to love this one. I'm just waiting for my comment because I can't remember the name. You. Can't remember the name of it. Okay, here we go. This is the What Dreams Are Made Of Kimono available in sizes small through 3X. You guys, I am absolutely in love when I unpack this one. Just today, of course, because that's how we roll around here. Um, this one in this beautiful, it's printed lace, you know, so it's actually a print, but just the most gorgeous detail on the sleeves with this really great floral print and the colors, you guys, the colors that you can pull from these little flower patches and accessorize with are awesome. You have some brighter tones, some lighter tones. You can absolutely pair this um, differently to kind of bring out the tones that you want in this you can even just pair it with cream so that way it kind of like makes it a little more subtle but it is just absolutely darling it has a little bit of a high low hemline so you have that straight back 
this cute slit in the side um, that gives you the rounded edge, which one thing that you can do then with that type of a bottom, and of course I'm not wearing the right tank to do this with, um, but you can tie the front. So if you wanted to make it into a little bit of a short front with the long back, you can. And I'd wear it with something probably shorter if I was doing that, but look how cute that would be. Um, and to give you that fun detail. So with those sides like that, you can do that. So loving this kimono. Of course with kimonos, we say size is flexible. They're open fronts, so there's no button closure. There's nothing saying that you have to stay in your normal size. However, we do suggest it, suggest it for a number of reasons. You wanna have good coverage in your backside. So of course as the sizes go up, as our natural sizes go up, this piece is gonna get a little bit larger. And so you don't want to be you know, in a normal extra large, but like, oh, I can do a small kimono. And then this is going to cover like maybe half your bum. And so we want to make sure that you're staying in the right size so that the overall fit of this is as intended. So typically we stay true to size. Now, if you're going up one size, you're flexing down one, you're going to be okay. But you don't want to do a massive size flexing in these because it's going to lose some of that intended fit to it. Um, it does have this really cute too. They call it a bubble sleeve. Um, so it, gives, it has some gathering here that just gives you a little bit of extra flow in the sleeve and then that little bit again in your sleeve and even a high low look to it so absolutely loving this one i have this paired over the what is this called oh that is the hearts complete cami tank. hearts complete cami tank this is already on the site available in four different colors i think maybe even five nice. um and these are just a flowy, nice go-to tank. I know a lot of you have snatched these up in several colors because they're a really great layering piece. This coral is gorgeous underneath this cami, but it also comes in a light pink and a white and in a taupe and in black. So a good selection of other colors that you can have um, for layering, but it's just a regular cami tank, but a nice flowy crepe feeling material um, and fabric content on the kimono is 100% polyester. So no stretch to it. It's that airy light kimono um, as we are used to with kimonos. Um, but yeah, just absolutely love it. And then I paired it with this cute mint earring. Um, I think this is called like sweet mint um, is the name of this earring. It's leather. So it's again, super lightweight and such a great go-to to have in your uh, line above accessories. So I think that's that. That's Did I miss good. anything? I oh, my little out. bracelets I missed are my little he she bracelet stack little that I put together. Um, just goes so well. I love these bracelets and I love mixing and matching them. But like the colors in this, super cute and just fun to bring in um, those other pops of color to your earrings, to your bracelets and all that stuff. So, okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm not behind, not behind the screen. It's still a light outside. People are walking around. Christine's <laughs> supposed to remind me. Sorry, I, you know, I was going to. She's supposed to say, get behind that. I was going that. to, but I was super distracted trying to figure out the name of the fabric that's in those shorts that you have to show later. The name of it? Do you know what the name of it is? Oh, how to say it? Yeah. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking up for you. <laughs> so it's either you're gonna say it wrong or you're gonna I'll show probably the just world say goods. it wrong. I'll probably just say it wrong. Okay. Okay. We'll for both. <laughs> All right, so next up is the, oh, I got like just an itchy spot on the end of my nose. The Make It Up To You Tank in Sage Stripe. Um, you guys, this is one of my favorite tanks. I love the shape of it. Like I love the neckline. I love the ruffle detail and, and just this like loose flowy fit, but it's still so flattering because it gives you a nice side, like nice shape there throughout the bust and the midsection. And then I love the back on these. So one thing Christine and I were talking talking about um, when we were bagging these today, which we have a story for you about <laughs> our bagging um, today, was that these are so nice because you get that extra material, which gives you some flowiness and that baby doll style, but it doesn't extend to the back. So there's not that extra material here that makes it feel extra full, which I think sometimes when we run into like people who say they can't pull off baby doll style, it's when we have that extra gathered material all the way around that really makes us feel like, oh, there's so much material. But this is just the right amount of flowiness to it that it's a very flattering shape with how this is cut, um, where you can still have that comfort fit, 
but where it's not like way oversized. So this you're gonna see in several other colors we're releasing today. And we do have it in a black and tan already on the site. Yes, do you want these other two to show? Oh sure, I can show those and then you'll see one. But I just love like this little ruffle detail that you get there around the neckline and that pretty V. And then also today is releasing in this denim blue and black and white. So great staples where I'm like, I think I need every color because they'll be cute layering with cardigans and Come fall, like how cute would this be even with a darker green cardigan? Or this one would be with some other color. Again, green, you could do green with these. Um, you could do with just your basic black, gray. Like we can layer these with really great pieces. Ooh, the peplums. Oh, the peplums. How cute would this be with a peplum jacket? So these are going to be really good staple pieces that for transitioning, we're going to absolutely love, but I love this sage color. I think it's so pretty and you get just this cute ruffle detail here on the neck, that little bit of gathering. So these are again, lightweight. Um, they're not even quite a baby French cherry. It's even a little bit lighter than that. They call it a, um, I mean, on the packing slip. Wow. That was typical. I can come up with <laughs> big words, but not on that. On the packing slip, they called it a light chiffon. Oh, a light chiffon. It's almost it's almost like a stretchy. I mean chiffon isn't normally stretchy. Yeah, but this it does have stretch to it. So it does it but yes, I think you're right that I read that. So ninety-five percent ran, five percent spandex, so you have some stretch to it. So comfortable fit. True to size is what I would say. Again, if you're in between sizes, you can go down a size. So I paired that again with that same cute um, mint stack, which kind of brings out those sage tones. And then I need to talk about these earrings. So our nude leopard, one of our most popular prints, is restocking today in four different earrings, I think. Um, this nude leopard goes with everything, even with the striped shirt. Like it's a cute little accent and it's so subtle being in that nude leopard. So these are the double O's, cork and leather bonded together. And then this cute set that has that rose gold druzy bead on top. Again, these are a nice size, a little bit smaller than what I have on here. Um, and I know these sold, have sold out multiple times, like instantly within a day of us getting our restocks. Um, these cute blossom earrings, love the blossoms. And I know you guys do too. So those are back. And then also this cute set that is the nude leopard and then it's got this pretty gold um, bead on, or gold, not bead, but uh, leather detail on the top. So again, really good sizes. And this, that nude leopard, seriously, one of our most popular prints um, if for earrings. So you can always search the site nude leopard if you're looking for these earrings and you'll get all the options available in this, in that colorway um, or in this print, but they are just, they're our favorite and they go with everything. So still have this paired here with the Capri um, and I just love this combo. So I'm going to go ahead and change and I'll be right back. Oh, I can leave these earrings on with this because they're just perfect. They're, they're just perfect. perfect. They're perfect, seriously. With the they're so just many. perfect. They are. Hey ladies, it seems like we have a couple of few newbies who maybe didn't catch the beginning so if you're new here thank you so much for joining us this is our version of a live sizing and styling guide and so it's not a common sold there's no race to claim that's why you don't see a number in the top corner with a price on it um we're just showing you the fits the fabric so that you can get a good idea and then as soon as this live ends which is usually sometime between 10 15 and 10 30 eastern time all items will go live on the website, which is www.shoprachelclark.com or on the app. So you can go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and just search um, Rachel Clark and you can find the app right there. And like Rachel said earlier tonight, there are always some special offers through the app. You get push notifications to know when we're going live. You can also sign up for a wait list. So if something sold out, you can put your email address in there and when it's restocked, you get it immediately. So please feel free to ask as many questions as you want during the live. Rachel will always be wearing a size small in tops unless we will go above and beyond to let you know if there had to be a size change, but she's always a small in tops and then a size seven in our Judy blue jeans. Okay. okay. I think I'm good. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Well, and we always do lives like this because we find them to be a little more relaxing for you guys. You don't have to like 
claim things and be like, oh no, I want that shirt instead. And what do I do? Or I'm just not going to pay my invoice and I'll shop something else on the site. So there's, this is a good relaxed time. Hang out, watch the live and then shop after. Make sure to follow our Facebook group as well and our business page if you don't already. So that way you can get um, updates for when these lives are happening, but they're always on Wednesdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, okay, so next up is the Try Again Tear Top. Um, tear Top Lovers, you're going to love this one. I saw this come in and I'm like, the colors in this, so pretty and such a cute, cute baby doll style on this with these fun tears. And like, just look at how cool this print is. It's not, print is. It's not quite an animal print, a little bit of an ab abstract floral almost, but just a really pretty print. And then this one here, you have that real mauvey tones with some um, brighter purples in there, some browns. This again, great for transitioning. Um, and, but this one is a little bit more, if, I don't know if that's what Christine's talking about right now. I sometimes I see your comments and I'm like, are you talking about this or something else? So this one's a little bit more A-line, nice and fitted throughout the bust, but yeah, still some stretch to it, but nice and fitted throughout the bust. And then a real full kind of skirt on this one. So it gives you a real nice flowiness. Um, to that tier. You have these cute little sleeves, which I love how far down the shoulder they come. So they drop down the shoulder and then you have that cute flutter sleeve. So it's not like way up like a tank. It gives you a little bit more sleeve, a little more coverage. Um, and then they're, it's a nice length. So this would be one that I would still recommend wearing with a pant, not a legging, because it's going to probably hit pretty close like to the you know, to the top of your band of your rise, um, where you're not going to want to wear a legging with it. But I just love the length of this and the soft tones in it. Again, you can pair some really cute things with it. I threw, threw on a few little pink bracelets. And then this, I actually have two different earrings on, like normal. This is a new one, re or, or restock tonight in this pretty embossed pink. Um, and then I also put on a nude leopard so you guys could see like it's <laughs> nude and it's leopard, but it still pairs so well with this. So you could really do either one with this, depending on what color you want to pull from it. And then I have it on with a new pair of Judy Blues. Oh, let me see my comment. They're the high rise button fly. High rise button fly boyfriend. Destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> boyfriend. Do you have, yes, do you have my favorite shoes on? I do, in your size. So they're a little roomy. <laughs> so I have these on with Christine's favorite too, because they go with so much. They, they really do go with just about everything. The, um, the Dusk and Blush. Um, yeah. is the shoe that I have on. And we also have these available in other colors and, uh, but in the same kind of style. But so this boyfriend jean, which I don't know we've had a, no, don't know that we've had a boyfriend jean before that's a button fly. So we have this cute button fly. They are considered a high waist. So high waist hits right at the top of my belly button. So they're not high waist, like on your natural waistline, but they really just very minimally from a mid-rise um, in Judy Blue world, uh, where sometimes mid-rise we worry is going to be too low, but really mid-rise and high-rise aren't that great of a difference in a lot of the Judy Blue jeans. So this one's hitting just above my belly button. You have this cute silver button detail here, boyfriend fit with a cuff that you can take out. Um, so you can always adjust the cuffs if you want to add cuff, remove cuff. This one has some pretty heavy um, distressing here around the where that the bottom is or the cuff so you have that cute kind of thread detail there and then of course a little bit of a heavier distressed or destroyed the boyfriend fit jeans so boyfriend fit jeans are relaxed all the way from like hip down so these are ones that a lot of the time boyfriends people opt to go down a size in i'm in my normal 728 and you can see like unlike some of the capris when i was like if i can grab them but I have plenty of room in here. So these would be ones that if I wanted to, I could opt to size down a size and I could do the five in these for them to be a little less roomy throughout my leg all the way from my hips down. So they would be a little bit more fitted, giving me a relaxed look and not a boyfriend fit. Now this is where it comes to personal preference. A lot of people do opt to go down that size, um, but I like to stay I like to stay in my normal 728 because I like the intended boyfriend fit. And I always tell people that I like the intended, I want them to look boy, like a boyfriend fit. 
That's why I stay in the 728. But if you don't want them to be so roomy, you want to have less room in here um, and in your knees and that kind of thing, you can absolutely go down a size so that way they are a little bit more fitted on you. But otherwise, you guys, normal Judy Blue fit. So if you do like to size down one in your boyfriends, you absolutely can in this pair as well. Even with the button fly and the high rise, you can see I have extra room in here. So this would be one you can go down a size if you prefer to do so. And again, they're a really nice length where you can take them out, you know, and adjust that if you want. Um, so that way they're a little bit longer on you. I'm just trying to see if I can see what the inseam is on this for anybody curious. Inseam on these is 26 and a half cuffed. 29 inch inseam uncuffed so you can absolutely wear them either way but to give you an idea of what that inseam is and again I'm 5'7 I love a cuff in my jeans especially this time of year even with a booty I would probably drop these down to be a smaller cuff and wear them with a booty come fall but I really love this outfit too and I think something that I love about it is that you have this cute little dainty top paired with a fun destroyed jean, which really like changes the look up. But you could wear this with a pretty pair of brown pants or black pants and give it an entirely different look. So things that just switch it up, make it a little bit more modernized by adding the distressed jeans to it, but such a fun way to kind of switch up your outfit. So Christine is gonna hop on out here and show you this and I'm gonna go ahead and change. Do you wanna stay out there for like no. 30 more seconds? Okay, <laughs> yes. I know I formed it. In a question, I but I don't really there. mean it. No, I can't stay out here. I mean it. I want you to go out there with me. Oh, okay. I politely asked in the form <laughs> of a question, but I did not mean that. So I just want you to see all of the stretch that Rachel has in hers because of the boyfriend fit. So this is what staying true to size does. I am typically, okay, you can leave now. This is all the stretch. I ran through the warehouse. I didn't pull these jeans for myself. Um, I'm typically a size 14 in Judy Blues, which is the start of their women's sizing. So if y'all are new tonight or new to Judy Blues, they run sizes 0 through 15, 0 and then 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, odd numbers to 15. Those are technically considered junior sizes. So let's say you typically wear a size 8 in pants. You would drop down one number to the 7 to get your Judy Blue sizing. Because I'm a 14, 16, I am in the women's range, which is 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. So for me, dropping down one size is from the 14 women's to the 15 and juniors. I know it's weird that 15 is a higher number, but it's technically a smaller size. That's the difference between the juniors and the women's. So I don't have shoes on because Rachel was wearing mine. You can see here just for, as the example, I don't have as much bagginess in these jeans because I dropped down to the 15. I typically drop down in the boyfriends just because I like more of a fitted look. But if you really want that boyfriend loose leg, stay in your true Judy Blue size. I can wear the 14s just fine. It keeps that leg a little bit looser, gives you that relaxed fit. But if you do want them a little more structured, a little more fitted through the leg, you can drop down one. So this is the difference. As you can see in Rachel's, they were baggy around the knees. There was a lot more stretch to them. Might still have stretch. They're just more fitted when I start from that stretching point. So this is what happens when you drop down the one size. So that's gonna be a personal preference if you want them to be that loose boyfriend fit or if you want a more skinny version. So again, I'm in the size 15. 14W is my normal size. And then for this pretty, pretty top, I am in the extra large uh, 1X in this one. I believe that this brand considers it a 1X. You can see that there's a little bit of room here, but like I've said before, I'm not exceptionally busty. So if you happen to be bustier, don't go down a size in this because here's what's going to happen. You're going to try to pull it over your chest and then you're going to start popping stitches out of that tiered line. So stay in your true size in this, especially if you're busty. I could probably, probably if I pushed it, get a large on, but it would change the whole structure of this top. The shoulders would be tight. It would be lifting it up. I'd have the line in a weird spot and then I'd be popping stitches. So for sure stay true to size in this one, especially if you're busty. I know we all like to size flex. I know we all like to get into a smaller size. Hi, I'm in a 15, not a 14. We all love to, but this is one of those things our mama always told us, nobody can see the tag in your clothes. Wear what looks right, what fits. And Rachel and I always say, just because you can, 
doesn't mean you should. So. I think that was one of like when we were teenagers and struggled with sizing. Like, yeah, one of the first things mom taught us about like nobody all can see the that tag. whole the whole world of clothes was like nobody can see your tag. Don't nobody worry. Knows. Nobody wear else. what's flattering, wear what fits right. So stay true to size in this one. I know it's flowy, I know it's loose. Don't try to drop down that one size. Stay true to size or you're gonna be popping stitches. <laughs> okay, she's ready. All right. I'm ready. We'll see what we have on here. I'm gonna show earrings. You can pop that comment up. I'll talk about I these real quick. I will do that quick. and then I will answer some questions. Um, so another restock, you guys, of ours. These cute little square studs. Um, again, super popular. Come in this cute little pack. I have the gunmetal on here with the navy and the silver. Oops, upside down. But you guys, such a great trio for great basics. If you love studs, you're gonna love these. Um, they come with the little clear backs, but I always like to try to remember to mention that we do sell the larger round clear backs that you can buy a 20 pack, these little backs, um, which I always feel like they hold my earring in place better because I've stretched out my ears and I can't wear studs otherwise. So you can add those for $2 a 20 pack to throw in there, but love these, you guys. Again, so glittery, such a great price point. We also have this restock today that is fun because you have the biggest Texas, um, Oh, triangle. What is that one called? Just the triangle or biggest Texas? Uh, no, that's not even the biggest Texas. That's just the oh. triangle stud. Oh, just the triangle stud here in the black. And then your classic juicy bead there in the gunmetal and the silver. So again, some great trio sets, basics restocking today that have sold out. And I said pop up my comma and, and now, I, now, I lo now I lost it. Oh, probably. All right, let me do it. Let I'm scrolling quick. like That's all the okay. way up and I'll I can't find it. Okay. So yeah, great earrings, you guys. So go through, I don't know that those will show up at the beginning of the category in earrings. So you're going to maybe want to search a little bit or even try, just type in square, square stud, and you should be able to find things. Type in little keywords on the site and you'll probably find some of these things. If you can't remember the name of them, it's okay. Um, or always message us and we'll help you with direct links to things. Um, but next up is the stay all day tea. This one is available in four colors releasing today if you remember we had that cute long sleeve tee the other couple weeks ago that was such a huge hit we still have some of those but like those comfy tees that are good go-to's that you want to just have for relaxing lounging I want to run errands go to the grocery store in a comfy tee and like we all need those comfort clothes where you don't want to you want to feel put together but you don't want to be like dressed up all the time so we have these cute tees releasing today in the short sleeve um not the exact same as the others but in reference to those if you love those tees you're gonna love these so I actually threw a little side knot I will undo this so that you can see it but just a way that you can style this tee to show you how different will look throwing a little knot in it versus wearing it loose um, but again part of those same button fly boyfriends and with a new sandal so this is the G Jazz I believe is what this one is called yes. this cute little flip-flop our first pair of flip-flops releasing you know we were late to the shoe game we have to we're actually ordering shoes already for like January February and March right now so we were a little late to the shoe game when we started ordering this year um, and so finally we have this cute flip-flop here it has a one inch wet Edge foam like super comfortable lightweight with this fun leopard fringe canvas on there so these are releasing today it says gypsy jazz here which is the brand um i'm in the eight and a half and i would stay in these so true very true to size i even have a little bit of extra room on the back end of them if you guys can kind of see with that black sole um but that foamy super soft lightweight cushy and then the canvas is so soft on your foot it's not like a leather that's going to wear and rub and be a uncomfortable you guys are going to love this so back to this tea I think we've covered those and they're a really good price point um, so here is that tee undone where it's just that loose relaxed I'm shown here in the small this is a hundred percent cotton and this material is a mineral wash so it's actually been washed they sew it all together and then they wash it um, in the color or it's a mineral wash in the color and so it is cotton hundred percent cotton but pre-washed it has this cute little side slit detail oversized roomy fit just comfortable and cute loose sleeve um raglan style but you guys these are just i love this kind of a tee to have around to throw on gives you good bum coverage you can easily wear this with a legging i'm actually going to throw another one on in just a minute with a legging so you guys can see with that but it's like that perfect throw on with a pair of jeans and just be comfortable 
throw it on with leggings and you can even, you know, work out. Like it's just a comfortable, like a super fit tee, wider neckline on this. I can't remember if there were, nah. Yeah. No, I feel like this would be too snug. So it is just a loose, wider neckline on it, but so comfortable. And I think y'all are going to love them. So I'm gonna change real quick actually into another one of these. I didn't realize I did them back to back. So let me throw that on real quick. Um, just to give you another peek at it. But this would be one, if you want to size down, you can because they're roomy. This would be one that we would say you for sure you can size down and you don't have to stay true to size. But if you like that relaxed fit and you want the roominess and the comfort, then you can go down a size. But otherwise, stay true to size. What's up? Um, no, you're fine. There were just a couple jeans questions. So while you change, okay, Ashley, you asked if we could show it uncuffed. So it's got about a three inch cuff on it. So it changes it from a 26 inch, inch inseam to a 29 when you unroll that cuff. And then the very last question that I saw before, wow, we went, um, I know way it, past it there. Fast. We get all those. Yes. Are the Claudia, are the jeans true to size? Yes, they are. But this is a boyfriend fit. So stay true to size if you want the intended roomy boyfriend sizing to them. You can drop down one size if you want them to be a little more of a slim fit. Rachel loves the oversized relaxed boyfriend look, so she always stays in her normal 728. I dropped down one size because I'm still on the kick of a slimmer jean right now. Unless it's a flare. <laughs> She's ready. I'll get you a comment. Okay. All right. So here's that same tee. When Christine pops the comment back up, I'll remember the name. So it's releasing also in this black. Again, it's mineral wash. So see how you see that little bit of a color variation because it's mineral, mineral wash in there. So it's actually sewn together. Then it's dyed. So that's what gives us that variation. Um, and we were even looking and we're like, oh, the tags are the same color as the shirt and that kind of thing because they sew them together after it's dyed. So it's also releasing this pretty black today. Um, and then also in this one, which I think is called Lemon. 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 And then this pretty blush. So again, just a really great basic go-to tee that's so comfortable. Like this is my kind of, I get home from work and like, what can I put on that's super comfortable? That is what we work in. This is what we work in. That's true. <laughs> because we just run all day. But like when I get home from work, I'm like, okay, but for real, like what can I put on that's comfortable? If I fall asleep in it, it's fine. And like, this is my go-to. So here it is paired with a pair of leggings. Do you remember the name of these? Of course, my comments oh, gone already. Textured spots, jackered Texer, leggings. Textured textured spots mm -hmm. jackered leggings these are already available on the site they're a really great mix of some grays and the black i typically wear a medium medium in them however i'm in a small right now oh, which is are. a little snug a <laughs> little bit snug on me so i like the medium in these they do run quite true to the size chart which i always do a medium in them but i grabbed a small by mistake um so quite true to the size chart that's going to be on the site with these leggings but the t 100 percent cotton and Sue, I think I just saw your comment. 100% cotton on these, but again, don't forget they are mineral washed and already washed. So they shouldn't shrink anymore, um, especially if you're doing the proper hang to dry kind of thing. But I just love it because it's so comfortable with legging, nice length, loose fit. Like, I, it just feels so good. And I, the other day, I'm like, I need more. I need to get some of those long sleeves that we had last week and these short sleeve ones. But I just have more of this kind of thing that at home I'm like I'm so comfortable in and if the neighbors walk over I'm like I still feel good and put together and if I decide I need to run to the store like I still feel good and put together but I'm in something comfortable and it's not like I'm wearing my husband's t-shirt kind of thing not that I wear his t-shirts but you know Christine probably wears Ian's and she wears his socks and I don't wear his t-shirts I wear his socks <laughs> his socks they're always here fighting and he's like Whose socks you got on your feet? And she's like, mine. He's like, lies. You're he's lying. Like, Ian fails to remember <laughs> that once we are married, what's his is mine, and what's mine is mine. We are united. We have become one, and that includes his sock drawer. <laughs> Honey, I know she you're does, watching. She does actually tell him that. Every time he asks whose socks I have on. We went on a week vacation. You know whose socks were packed? 
all Ian's for both of us all week. Did you say, is he watching? No, he's busy ba bagging earrings. Oh yeah, he probably is bag bagging earrings. She is going to show up to the boutique in my work uniform soon. Oh my gosh, she is watching. <laughs> Yes, he just said that. Uh, Janine, the leggings are high-waisted. I think I would consider them a high waist. They definitely come up to they have the your belly control. button. They have what Rachel refers to as a tummy tuck. <laughs> but it is the high-waist yoga-style tummy control waistband. Ian Samlo, does it have pink? No, but it has a really fancy neon yellow because he and Jake have to wear high-vis uniforms. So, <laughs> no pink. All right. But this shirt's pink. <laughs> this is that oversized tee in the blush. I knew that Rachel was going to end up wearing it in the sage and the black, so I thought that I would pop on the blush that, just so that you could see another color of this one, and you know what they match with perfectly? <laughs> the dusk in blush. So I'm in my true size. I'm in the extra large. Again, this is definitely oversized. Another one that I could probably get away with dropping down to the large. But like we've said before, we never try anything on before the live. We want to see it with you guys. We want you to have an accurate reading of how sizes work and not be hiding in the back, sneaking, swapping out tags, trying something else. So this is the extra large. Large. This is how it's supposed to fit. It's supposed to be oversized. It's supposed to be roomy and comfy. If for some reason you wanted a more fitted look, you could certainly size down, but that will change the intended look of the tee. We're never saying that you can't do it. It just changes the intended look when you go down from your true size. Just like what Rachel said about the kimonos. You can go down, but that's not the look that's intended. I could go down to a large, but this tee is meant to be comfy, relaxy, oversized. You ready? What I'm are you ready. applying to? Your plant at the boutique is looking super thirsty. <laughs> it looks really sad. I don't know if these water is um, Leanne, if we have a chance, I might possibly be able to get a large on. But when we're prepping for the live, we only pull um, each item in our intended sizes. So I don't have a large pulled. Um, if we get a chance and I've got some downtime and I can go running through the boutique, I can try and find one. But I got to make it through 7,000 square feet of warehouse. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> so, you. This one I'll turn her out. So it oh, yeah. Time. It might give me some time to find it. Okay. I didn't even put on shoes with this. So I'm in those same leggings, like, again, super comfy. Um, I am in, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm reading these comments. Um, so you guys, I'm in those same leggings and I love them. And if y'all were around for last week's slide, you saw this pretty little tank released in the leopard version. And this is called the Better Than This Tank in Charcoal. Um, available in sizes small through 3X. I'm shown here in the small. And you guys, this is like the perfect A-line pizza shape we like to call it where it has that little bit of um, a pizza shape not a french fry pizza where it gives us that little bit of extra roominess in the hips but it's nice and fitted throughout here so this is just super cute you can wear your regular bra with it without seeing it um and it is baby suede so 95 percent polyester five percent spandex nice and stretchy and just natural roominess so you can see it doesn't fall real low here but it also isn't hugging me super tight and it has that great stretch to it this, again, would be one that I'd say for the intended fit, stay true to size. However, if you like things to be a little less flowy, you could for sure probably go down a size in it so that way it's a little bit more fitted in your hip area. Um, and it, this one, if you're a medium, sometimes a large, do the medium in it, that kind of thing. Um, and then the back on this one is just a fully finished high high neck back on it. So I have it paired with those same jackered leggings that I was in. This is a real fun, sporty way to wear this. However, you can wear this with jeans. You can dress it up, girls night out, fun piece um, to wear at any time. And we discovered last week, I'll flip it around for anybody who wasn't here, that you can wear this piece either way. Now there is a tag in the neckline on the back side. So this is where I said, if you're gonna wear it this way, you're gonna wanna probably remove that tag very carefully. Um, so that way it's not there, but it gives you a little bit of a higher neckline on it. And if you have it pulled out nicely, then it's not gonna gather or anything, but it gives you this fun like flat front and then the fun back to it. So you can wear this one 
either direction. I don't know if any of you have gotten your leopard tank and you've worn it either way, um, one way versus the other, but I do love the look of this paired or styled this way. I love that little bit of a higher neckline on the front. And I don't think that anybody would look at it and say like, that looks like it's on backwards. I think you can do it anyway, especially with all of the fun backs that we're seeing on tanks. I mean, any brand, even the super high, super high end brands, we're seeing that they're very like more, I don't want to say plain, but they are, they're a little bit more plain um, on the front and you're getting a lot more detail in the back. So love, love, love this. And I think that it's such a cute detail um, to wear it either direction. So I love the color of this one too. It's a really great shade of charcoal. Um, so anyways, I think that it's so stinking cute. Did Christine just run away? No, not yet. Oh, not yet. She says she hasn't run away yet. But okay. So I think that covers that. And again, threw on a couple cute little bracelets from our bracelet sticks. I know I have my Pandora on there, which always gets kind of in the mix. So do you guys have any jewelry that you don't take off? Or am I the only person? I'm like always, I'm like, I have my go-to pieces, my Pandoras that I sleep in, I shower in, I swim in, I do all those things that I shouldn't do. Um, but it's like, I can't let them go. And then, you know, I um, posted this week, if you missed my watch band, we get so many questions on it in the group. Um, and on our business page, I posted the wink, the wink, the link where you can now purchase the watch watch bands um, and you can get 10% off through my link. So heads up there because I know I get so many questions on this watch band, just like kind of my haircut. Um, I think both Christy and I are always going back like, oh, the watch band, the watch band, the watch band. Well, now we are ambassador for the watch bands and you can snatch them up with 10% off on my link. So heads up there if you're interested in them. Um, there is a link there. But Christine is going to come on out here in this cute top in the leopard. So if you missed last week, you can see it. You had to know I put it on in the leopard, right? <laughs> so I didn't get to try this one on last week and Rachel said, maybe you should pull the leopard in case anybody wants to see it tonight. So here is the same tank. Man, do I have some funny tan lines going on here? <laughs> Holy moly, y'all. I rode my Harley for a week in a tank top but this tank top does not sit in the exact right. You should see, I actually have tan, like tan holes on my knees from wearing uh, holy distressed can cans. So shin down, white, thigh white, kneecap very brown. It looks like I fell down into a pile of it dirt. Does. It, looks <laughs> it's like so funny. Knee, it either looks like her knee is dirty or bruised. Yeah, it's like there is no consistent because then when I put a bathing suit on, my torso doesn't see the light of day for the entire summer. So that is very, very, very white. I have like seven different shades based on how much sun each part of my body shows you know what I really need to do is use some new skin yeah it's actually what I do every summer to even out that biker tan because I always ride in jeans so then when it gets really odd and I have to wear a short dress or something I start new skinning my legs to get them to the tan of my arms and the cool thing about new skin I know that that's not even what I'm out here supposed to be talking about the cool thing about new skin is that it's not orangey it's not greasy it doesn't leave streaks and it's buildable so that you can keep putting it on to get to your desired color. So when I wanna match my arm tone, I can just keep building that new skin. Okay, anyway, this shirt, this is the shirt that Rachel just had on in charcoal. I am in my true size. I am in the extra large in this one. One X, how come I could never remember? This is what happens when you leave for a week. You just don't even know what's going one on. Um, I'm, so I'm in the one X. This is their extra large version in this brand. Absolutely fantastic cut. Loving this neckline. Just love the fun details. I'll probably put some new skin in right here too. Oh, yes, Sue, it doesn't Which is smell. available on our website. If anybody's curious, we sell it directly from, from the boutique so you don't have to shop two different places. Yes, that's true. You can go right on there. But super comfortable fit. Really love this. I wouldn't change my size. I've said before, sometimes um, in armholes, they can get a little droopier. They can be too high, which makes you want to determine what your size would be on occasion if something goes too low. I will size up one. This is a really good cut on this armhole. Doesn't show my bra line, but it's also not so high up that I feel like my arms are suffocating. <laughs> so stay true to size in this one. Super fun in the intended fit. Gives you that little bit of flow that's comfy and flattering. Okay, she's ready.
Okay, how did you figure out how to say this? Serapi. 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 Who knows what Serapi is? Not me. But today, we're going to learn. Um, okay, so, y'all, there's a new pair of Judy Blue shorts in town, and they're releasing today. So, these are available in small through extra large. Typically, we get Judy Blues in small through 3X, and remember, we've done this before. Like, why did we not get the full size wrong? What <laughs> happened? And then they show and, up And then anyway. they show up later. So, we're not sure if that's going to happen with these or what, but these showed up today in small through extra large. So, we were like, well, we better get them released because it, they're shorts, and we want to get them released to you. So these are super cute. Look how fun this is. Um, these uh, are distressed or destroyed with these fun patches, these little colored stripes in here, available in sizes small through 3X. Unfortunately, we don't have that 1X through 3X size run today. And again, I'm not exactly sure why or what happened, but if they arrive, we'll surely let you know as soon as they are here. Um, but these are so fun with that. So they have the distressing, but don't show any of your skin through. So there is full coverage there um, and no distressing on the back except for like on the pocket so again you're not going to be showing any skin through those and I paired it with this fun USA uh, tie-dye tee which we do have available on the site already and you know it's great for 4th of July I think we released in our 4th of July collection but then we're also like you know you can sport USA any day and it was really cute to pull these colors together so inseam on these is oh where'd my note go Four and a half inches. Four and a half inch in four and a half inch inseam on these. And they are considered a mid-rise. So again, hitting me just at the base of my belly button. But a good rise on them, or I'm sorry, a good inseam on them. So you don't have to worry about your bum hanging out or anything. They're a nice length to give you good coverage. Not quite mid-thigh, um, but definitely good coverage. And they have our normal Judy Blue stretch to them. So no need to size flex in them. I'm in my normal medium, uh, which accommodate sizes five and seven in Judy Blues, um, then you would be a size medium and they're very comfortable. I would say both of those sizes like normal this year, we've been super consistent with short sizing. These run true to that size and I didn't put any shoes on, um, but this is such a cute outfit, super easy. And really with these shorts, you can pull in any solid color shirt, graphic tee, really a lot of different options with this fun um, stripe print. But look at how cute that is. All the colors that are in there. I mean, there's pink, red, blue, green, yellow, white, it kind of looks brown or black either way. So all the different colors in there you can pull into your outfit. Threw on this cute double O earring in the, this is a corky. So again, so lightweight, you guys, super duper lightweight, not weighing down my ear at all. Um, in the yellow, just bring that color in. But we have these available in a lot of different colors. And I think we have a navy restock on the way, but so good and such a great um, earring to have in your collection. So I think that covers those. I am going to talk about um, a couple pairs of shoes real quick, just because I don't think that I'm going to throw them on with any of the outfits that I have left, but I wanted to show here. I'm one earring again. This is, <laughs> this is my normal, um, by the end of the night. So, um, here we are this super cute again, just like the Holly. This one is called milk it. Um, same shoe though, canvas in the black and white cow print. How cute are these? They fit the same as the Holly or if you have the tan uh, or the Cheetah, which we have in tan leopard or white and, black leopard. white and black leopard. We do still have both of those, I think, in select sizes. But this one is called the Milk It in the cow print, which cow print is like all the rage of 2021 what year are we in it took yeah. me a second 2020, um, it, like it just it felt like it I know I'm really like did. 2020 2021 whatever year this is but you guys again same fit that we were talking about with that Holly I'm in the eight and a half so comfortable same lightweight canvas all that fun stuff um but in the super cute black and white cow print and you're gonna love them they are really like just like Hey Dudes. I don't have Hey Dudes myself, but my boys and my husband do. And um, they're so comfortable, just like those, just as lightweight. And you're going to absolutely love them for half the price. So those are releasing today too. And I think Christine is coming back on here. And I'm going to change. Am. I grabbed a different color. But I made the run and I grabbed a large. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it actually still has. So this is drop down one size for me. And again, I can do larges or extra larges. But this is drop down to the smaller of my sizing preferences. I don't really notice a different feel to it in the upper body. Um, but I will say that I can tell that it's definitely shorter 
and it's not as oversized. So I think this is one that you can easily drop down a size. It just depends how oversized, how loose and roomy you want it, or heck, if your size sells out, and the only other option is to drop down a size, easily doable. So this is that fun lemon color, easy to drop down a size. I would really go with either. You know, if I'm dead set on a particular color and all of y'all buy my sizing, then I for sure would just drop down a size comfortably, wouldn't worry about it at all. So it's really just gonna be your personal preference if you wanna stay true to size, or if you wanna lose a little bit of that oversized look so while i'm out here i can tell you guys because apparently <laughs> rachel isn't going to bring it up we had a competition today <laughs> we had been in our receiving room for like two and a half hours bagging and tagging all of the products that come in every time we get a box from a vendor we have to check that all of the sizes are there the quantity is right and then we put our little hang tag on it fold it pretty and bag and rachel is getting pretty bored with it <laughs> so she suggested that we have a competition so she grabbed a stack of six shirts and I grabbed a stack of six shirts. Same size as they needed to be taken off the hanger, tagged, and bagged. And you guys, taking off the hanger also means like we have to take the hanger. The like, hanger tagged strappies that we don't even want in the clothes no, anyway. No, we hate them. Nobody wants them. But I won round one. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> So then she suggested that we did it again. She wasn't going to bring this up earlier today. She thought it was a great idea to bring this up. But if you've ever done best two out of three, you don't have to do round three when the winner wins both two. So two out of the three champion. This here. is what we do during the day, you guys. Mm -hmm. This is how we get things bagged and tagged. Yeah. <laughs> and it actually like made those rounds of shirts that we had to bag and tag go super fast because we were racing. But this is what we do. I'm like, let's have a competition. And then at some point I like quit in the middle. I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Oh yeah, anymore. she even said that one of them was defective so that she could throw one out <laughs> to the side. So she had one less than me and still lost. Oh, but this is what we do all day. So welcome to our lives mm -hmm. of bagging and tagging clothes and having competitions. It is a very glamorous <laughs> life that we lead. All right. Well, next up, you guys, is the Hold My Hand blouse available in sizes small through 3X. Oh, I don't think we... We didn't button me because we were busy talking about our competition, but that's okay. Um, how cute is this, you guys? Oh, see, here's those hanger straps we were talking about that we hate. Um, so how cute is this? Like, look at how fun this print is, this animal print that's like animal print, but not super animal print. So if you aren't animal crazy, you it's just going to blend in as a cute little polka dot. And then you have this fun paisley print here that comes kind of through the middle and throughout your body. And then there is a little button up here at top that I didn't get buttoned <laughs> because... I was busy listening to Christine, but such a pretty blouse, you guys. So this has a little bit of like baby fine elastic here to give you that fun blousing in the sleeve and that little bit um, of a little ruffle detail at the bottom of the sleeve. And then a slightly um, roomy fit throughout the hips. This is 100% oh, polyester. So <laughs> No stretch, but natural roominess here. So I would say stay true to size, even if you're chesty. Sometimes I put some of these on and I'm a small, but could like be pushing a medium because I'm a size six, eight. Um, and this one, I'm very comfortably in this where I have that extra room here where I don't feel like it's snug across my bust. So I would say stay true to size in this one. I don't see a need to have to size up in it, even if you are chesty, but I would not suggest sizing down in this one because of the no stretch factor. Now I have this paired with a new pair of Judy Blues and you guys, I have been like, people have been begging for white this year and for some reason we just haven't been able to get it. But we do have a new white button fly patch pocket flare. Right? Is that what? Oh, yeah. Did I you get got it? it? I got, you it. got it. So you guys, so this one is like a combo of some of our favorite things. So let me button fly we love 
these patch pockets. So they have these cute little front pockets and then they are also a flare. And I thought they were gonna be a boot cut. So they're not a super flare. They're not super duper flare, um, but they're a little bit more on that like trouser pant. If you guys remember those when we've gotten Judy Blue, the trouser pant where they have that thicker cuff and they are trouser size style. These are 33 inch inseam on them. Um, and they are a high rise. So these are hitting me really close to my natural waistline, which with the flares or, tends to be kind of the natural, the high rise is hitting at the natural waistline. So they are hitting a little higher. These are very stretchy. We've talked about sizing up before in white, but these have a lot of room to them. So I am very, I mean, look at like I can, I could fit an arm in this leg. Why is it what you would show? <laughs> I can fit a whole arm in this leg. An additional arm. No, but there's plenty of room in these where they are super comfortable, nice stretch to them. I absolutely love them. I love a good flare jean and I love white denim. So these are fun because when I came out in this, you guys couldn't see the patch pockets and you couldn't see the button fly. So if you're not in the button fly, that doesn't mean you can't wear these jeans. Like you you can hide it totally with whatever top you're wearing because some people are just like, mm, I don't like, I don't like my mom belly to be under there and be able to be visible in any way and you want to keep it covered. So you don't have to show it. Um, but you know, you don't have to show that button fly, but you can, if you want to do that front tuck and show those little patch pockets that are on there. So these, I'm going to say true to size, Judy blue size 728 is what I'm in. I would not size flex up in them. I do have some Judy blues that I opt to go up a size into the nine. Um, in the past, we've talked about those. These, I would not, I would say stay true Obviously, to size. You could fit like a I could fit there. like a, could fit Reese in here. <laughs> if any of you know, my little Reese is a tiny bump and she would probably fit she's four but she would probably be able to put her she legs probably, in here yeah, get both yeah. <laughs> but okay we'll to, maybe we can bring her one day and you can take a picture that way <laughs> i'll bring reese so you guys can see really how much room is in these and i probably like more on the verge of a nine right now than i am a seven but these can seven comfortably Not fit so <laughs> I, I you know i thought that like over summer i'm like the peloton will be great because i'm at home and the kids are home no. When the kid's home, they're like, mom, I need this. And then they're fighting. And then it's like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, I need this. Mom, take me to the bathroom. All this stuff that I'm like, there's no way I can get on that with them home. So back to them getting into school, I'll be able to like ride the Peloton again. Oh yeah. Then it's going to be good to get the kids to school. And <laughs> you always find a reason. She's so hard on me, isn't she? It's just life. It's just facts. This is what sisters are for. No. Oh, reality. She's like reality check. It's just the truth. I mean, I had a gym membership for four years. Like to pay that every month. Never went. We've had one for how long? How long? Five years that we haven't been to the Y, right? Uh huh. We still have it. It's like a donation. It's like a monthly donation. Right. So I think it's been like five and a half years since Christine and I, we were swimming like almost daily. Yeah. Yeah. A that lot. was back when I was doing my triathlon. Yeah. We were swimming all the time. Um, and then one day I was like, oh, surprise, I'm pregnant again. And we quit swimming. Yep. So <laughs> we should. It's too hot here. <laughs> it's too hot here, Sue. Okay, so next up is the sp Stylish Splendor Blouse, available in sizes small through 3X. Um, what's the color on this one, Moth? Is that what this one is? So you all saw this earlier in the you Sage. Know what? I just put the wrong comment up, I think. Oh. Yeah, I did. I gave you the same comment that you already had. Oh, okay, never mind. It's the Make It Up To You. So this is the Make It Up To You top, and this one we already saw tonight in Sage. We also have it available releasing today in black and in denim, and we have it on the site in tan and black. Um, so just a little cover in case y'all missed it. How cute is it and with this white denim? Any of these colors would be so cute with the white, um, but this runs true to size. We both like true to size in this one. It's such a cute cut, um, and it will be really great for layering come fall. So I wanted to show it to you styled a different way because sizing and styling guys, we like to talk about different ways to style these things. So really great with the denim, but then cute with a little jacket, denim jacket, cute with the white. These are just so cute. And we love that there's not any bunching and gathering on this, but only in the front. So it doesn't give you way extra material, but just the right fit. So true to size in this one with that cute little ruffle detail. Like I said, releasing in four colors tonight. And we also have it in tan and black already available on the site. So that covers that. And I'm going to quickly change again. 
trying to. Well, it was a quick one. Well, I know. I'm it was so to, quick. I'm trying to be speedy. For you, Christy. Mm -hmm. For me? What are you, for me? Yeah, Why for me? It's because. I'm not going anywhere anyway. <laughs> I don't know why for me. Let me give you your stylish splendor comment now. <laughs> oh, is that this one? Yeah. I haven't put this one on yet, and I... I'm surprised because that one is fabulous, and I thought for sure that you would have snuck on. one out. Yeah. Oh, this, but this is like totally up my alley. This is like Rachel Alley right here. So this one is now called a stylish splendor blouse. Um, and it is these, this gorgeous black and white. You can wear it either way. Would you wear it on done? I feel like I would. Yeah. But I think, I think you I would tie it. You think I would tie it? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So this gorgeous blouse, you guys, is like the blouse. Like, it is very cool. Would I tie it in a bow? She's like, I don't know. Yeah, you're a bow person. I'm a bow. You're a bow person. So you can wear this one either way. You can wear it open. You can tie it in a bow. Um, it has just that little peekaboo if you do leave it open. But look at how cute this is in this tiered, like, bell sleeve, black and white. I absolutely adore everything about this. And I paired it with this fun earring. I know we always talk about like pattern mixing, bringing out some different patterns. And the black and white stripe is just so classic. This is definitely a roomy top. Um, it is meant to be. And I love it with the flare or with the wide leg pant. Um, but you can wear it with a skinny. You can wear it with black. You can wear it with like a um, ponte or a dress pant if you want to. But I, what? She just laughs at me. Ponty. But look at ponty, isn't that the word? It probably is, but I just like pont. Better. Pont, pont. Um, but look at this cute little ruffle detail that you get there around the edge on the sleeve. I love that. I love this. This would be totally something that I would buy, <laughs> obviously. But I love, love, love everything about this. I love the fit of it, even though it's loose and flowy. I think that is just absolutely adorable. And again, one that you can dress up like so stinking cute, cute. Um, I'm done too. If you're not somebody who you like that tied around the neck, like it's cute with just these loose um, dangles there. You can throw them together around the neck if you want to, to kind of make them look like a little tie just hanging in the front. But you can definitely wear this one different ways. It is going to be a little size flexible. As you can see, I have some extra room in my arm. I'm in my true size small. This is not meant to be fitted. It is meant to be that little bit of an oversized fit. It's 100% polyester. So even though we have room here, there's not a lot of stretch. Um, but it's just so adorable. I love this. It's like just that classic piece. This would be one that like I will have in my cl closet for 20 years. Like I won't let it go. Totally reminds me of something I would have bought when I was 18 years old and it would have just stuck around. It probably would have grown out of it, but I couldn't let it go because I would hope that someday I could wear it again. This would be one of those pieces for me that is just so good that you can't, can't like, I'm seriously, are you putting this on? Yes. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I love everything about it. I feel like this should be your concert outfit. I feel like this should be my concert outfit too, except it might be warm. When are we? Yeah, it might be a little warm. I like to enjoy myself at concerts and from outside but you guys you're gonna absolutely love this love 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 it i have it paired with this fun like i said dalmatian square earring which also we have available in this cute shape as well um which i love these for pattern mixing with anything black and white love throwing in the dalmatian dot print with it you can also do something very classic. Um, if you're not into doing pattern mixing, this is a cute one and kind of this, I think this is actually called like a dragon skin, not even a snake skin, but it gives you that little bit of a dragon silver on there. Cute combo to be able to pull in that black, a little bit of that gunmetal with it. Or if you don't like to do a dangle, which I love a dangle with a statement piece like this, um, but you could do one of these fun triplets too as well, just to keep it a little bit more basic and simple. But my gosh, you guys, I am in love with this. I think Christine's going to come out here and it's so cute. She's already out there like ooing and aahing over it. It is so cute. And you guys, a lot of this, like this is a total 
like boutique style. I love the sleeves on this and it's so hard sometimes to find some amazing pieces like this in small through 3X in boutiques because so much boutique stuff. I was just talking with somebody about this the other day. Comes in only sizes small through large and a lot of the time the small is like a size zero. Um, so I'm sorry if you're a size zero and you're like, I struggle to find smalls that are small enough for me. But where this is, the small and I would say comfortably fits a size six, eight and even if you're chesty. But Christine's gonna come out here. I'm gonna stop talking and get changed. What? No. Okay. Did you see mine? I wasn't asking because I saw yours. I was just curious. All right, I have a couple of things that I have to say before I even get around to this. Sometimes in these high-waisted jeans, I almost feel like I want to go up a size just because, I don't know, do you ever feel like after the waistband you're just kind of exploding like a busted can of biscuits <laughs> under the waistband? No, it's just me? All right, that's fine, <laughs> whatever. But I am in my true size in these. Holy guacamole. Rachel is not kidding. I think I could get Reese in here. <laughs> the, the stretch on these, and normally, I know, like she said, a lot of times people like to go up in their whites because you feel like you can see through. Okay, I'm going to do this on camera because we're real around here. I Can you can you see Undy on there? Can you see them uh -uh. at all? I am in no. front of a very, very bright white ring light that makes fabrics that you can't see through sheer because of what we're standing in front of the light that we're standing in front of and I will admit this on camera for everybody to hear I have a very dark pair of panties on not planning to put white pants on that is how good this white denim is is that in front of this bright bright ring light with a darker color on me you can't see through them so girls you do not have to be afraid about Wearing white denim, is it gonna show lumps, bumps, panty lines, undies? These are fabulous. I thought Rachel and I were gonna fight over those striped ones. <laughs> Man, we might be fighting over these. So stay true to size. I am in my normal size 14 in Judy Blues. Length is fantastic. This is a 33 inch inseam. So tall girls, you are going to be in heaven with this. Short girls, don't let that scare you. We've had a couple of shorter customers buy these. And for like eight bucks, they're able to get this length hemmed. It's not overly pricey to get a really cute pair of jeans to fit right if you're in love with them. And then, oh my goodness, this top, I am in my true size. Um, this is the 1X. I do have plenty of room in here. I could probably push it and put a large on, but I wouldn't. And this is why, this is 100% polyester. Sue, I saw you ask the fabric question and I wasn't sure if Rachel answered it, which means the fabric itself does not have any stretch to it. So you can see, I always show you this. Oh, it's so cute. These are my shoulder seams. This is the cap of my shoulder. If I put a large on, I'm gonna be going in an inch or so on each shoulder and it's gonna get tight and it's gonna pull up and it's gonna make the sleeve sit in a different spot and it's gonna be tighter all the way around. I've got a little bit of room in my sleeve, not enough to make me think that I could pull off a large and I've said it before, if I can get into a large, I want to, but my mama told me no one can see the tag. Wear the right size. So in this, I'm definitely staying in my true size, which is the 1X in this brand, it's supposed to be oversized and flowy and tiered and fine. There's no reason to put yourself in a shirt that's just uncomfortable to wear. So wear your true to size in this one, true to size in the pants, fabulous look to it. Oh, what outfit are we fighting over? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's just a good, good look. And then again, length on these jeans are so good that even if I stand in my tippy toes, emulating wearing heels, I got plenty of length in them. Is Jessica on Washington? I don't know. Oh, well, she's going to tell, sure. tell Joshua that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is it. I am not seeing We love it, um, you guys, like, reading about you guys' husband, you guys', your husbands, <laughs> who watch or hear our voices and are like, stop watching that. It's well, one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you need those. Mm -hmm. Last week, she was just, like, uh, begging for white jeans, and I thought I had a pair, and we lost them, and, oh, it was just a disaster, but... Like, Jessica, you need this outfit. Tell Joshua. Um, the white jeans are 33-inch inseam, Jenny. So they're a little bit long. They might need to be hemmed for some of you. 
Uh, but you know, one thing is that like we can't add length for taller girls. So I think that a lot of them are coming along with the ability to be able to shorten them. Um, okay. So next up I am in the dancing in dots. Oh, that's what Christine's note says. I am dan <laughs> Rachel is dancing in dots in the heaven sent midi dress. And again, you guys, we wanted to bring you a couple longer dresses because I know I've had some requests for some of those for you. Those of you who don't like um, to show too much of the thigh or you want to get co more coverage towards your knees. So this is a really cute one as well in this comfortable uh, baby suede material. It is super soft, 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I'm like saying that as I'm confirming I'm correct. Um, but this one is so cute in this pretty mauve here on top. It does have a raglan style, um, loose fit sleeve. So it's nice and comfortable. This is seriously one of those, you can wear this to church. You can wear just a comfortable day. I mean, there are hot days that I'm like, I just need a dress. And this would be a really great one for that. So it's got this pretty mauve and it's not a dot, but it's a little triangle. So it's like a triangle dot um, print on this. And you have the pretty sage and just a classic black here on the bottom. Bottom. And again, it's got that A-line shape to it, so you have plenty of room in your hips for nice comfort. And this would be one I'd say stay true to size. If you're in between sizes, you can go down one. You're going to have plenty of room, and it doesn't fit snug. You guys can see, like, I have roominess um, throughout, so you can definitely go down a size if you want. But for this loose, comfortable fit, if you're just... And I like a loose, comfortable fit. I mean, as you know, I like to stay loose and comfortable in my denim. I like my tops to be roomy where I don't feel real snug in them. I like this, this fit. So stay true to size if you want that loose fit. Otherwise, you can size down one for a little bit more fitted in the midsection, um, or it's still not going to be, it's not going to be fitted. You don't have to worry going down one size isn't going to make it real snug, but it'll just bring everything in just a wee bit so that it's not quite as roomy on you. But it hits me just above the knee. I'm 5'7", so it's a really great length to give anybody. I mean, even if you're on the shorter side, it's still, it's not going to be down to the middle of your calf, um, but it's really just a great length for all. So love this dress for a great go-to, a nice basic classic. You're going to have it forever kind of a piece. Um, and it's just, it's so comfortable. So love that one. And again, I just threw on in case you missed at the beginning, we're restocking a ton of earrings today. I will do a restock post so y'all can see which ones and with direct links, but our biggest Texas round dangles in all the colors are here, um, and restocking tonight. And this is the silver. Uh, so there is silver and gunmetal. Those seem to be the two that a lot of people confuse, like which is which this is the silver that I'm wearing. And then this is the gunmetal. So it's a darker, let me make sure I turn it the right way. It's hard to tell sometimes I have to do things backwards from what it looks like on the camera. So that, see, I can't even get it. So this is the gunmetal, which is a darker, not quite black, but just that um, darker gray. So love those. Is Christine putting this on? Yeah, but if you're ready before me, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to hurry up here and get changed. And I think Christine's throwing on that dress so you guys can see it on her. I'm pretty sure that that dress is what we were bagging and tagging for one of our contests today. So I may have bagged hers and like just put it in a bowl and thrown it in a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was like, how can we get done with this faster so I can win? No, I'm just kidding. But there was a point when Christine and I were children, she was the master of like, she was losing a game. So she would flip the game board. <laughs> this is true. Either let me win or I'm done playing. And I would yeah. literally flip the game board yeah. over. So today when I was in the middle of doing this competition. And oh, I was losing, did you have to let me win? No, that's why I said, oh, I quit because that's what Christine would have done had she been in my position. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> All right, so you guys asked to see this. This is the extra large on me. I have found with some of these haptic dresses that I dropped down to a large, and I actually think that in this one I would do the same Miri, I know you can't hear me, so we'll put it all in a comment, but this is the extra large. It's comfy, it's loose, but this is another one where I've said before, I like to accentuate what I think is the smallest part on my body. So I would want this to be slightly more fitted right here, and so I would drop down to the large in this and lose that few inches right there. So if you're between sizes, if you're between sizes, drop to your smaller size. If you have a true to size, if you're always medium, if you're always a large, if you're always a 2X, stay with your true size. But if you're between 
drop down to the smaller of your sizes. I told her she could go first, but I mean, that just shows what a sore winner I am. I had to go first. I'll get you a comment. Okay, you get me a comment. I'll get you a comment. Well, I decided I'm doing something funky because I need to get this. Oh. I need to show these. So, okay. Comment go. heading your way. Comment heading my way. I guess I still have silver dangles on. I didn't change my earrings. Although there are some really cute options today. Bring out some pops of color with what I have on. Um, but okay, next up, I am in the Make It Up To You tank in Fuchsia Paisley. I'll give you a little peek at that. And then also I have on the Here We Go White Denim. This is one that released a couple weeks ago. I know you've heard me talk about it a couple of times. Um, if you don't have this jacket, it's amazing. Great piece that pairs with everything. I'm shown in my true size small. However, I recommend going up a size if you want to have more front closure. So I'm in the small and it's a snug fit. So we're honest around here and we like to tell you, go up a size if you wanna have more closure um, and be able to comfortably button it, whereas I can't comfortably do any of that on this one. It looks cute worn open. I'm totally comfortable in my sleeves and all that stuff wearing this one open in my true size small. But if I wanna have more front coverage or I wanna be able to button it, I would recommend going up a size. So. This is to give you my true size small and what it looks like. However, I recommend this jacket for like a size four to six uh, max where I'm a six eight uh, for sizing. So I would say in that like size eight, you're gonna wanna go up to a medium. But love, love, love the look of this. So to give you an idea of the look, don't ignore my shoes. I will tell you about them in a moment. <laughs> um, but love the look of this jacket. Love it with this fuchsia. I think it's such a pretty combo. And then this is going to be a great piece to pair with everything because white goes with everything. So you guys are going to love it. So the tanks that we've seen today in the stripes that we've been talking about is now releasing in this beautiful, beautiful, make it up to you tank in fuchsia paisley. So it's available in the stripes but then also in this gorgeous print. Now, this one is baby suede where those other ones were, what did you say they were? Is something for chiffon? Chiffon. It just, it's yeah, kind of we're, a slight chiffon. Yes, but it, those were still stretchy, a little bit more along the lines of like a baby French terry. Now, this one's baby suede. So lightweight, flowy, stretchy, and then it's just gorgeous. So look at the colors we have in here. Kelly greens, lavenders, royal blue, yellows, Beautiful, beautiful colors in this one. Um, and it's got that same ruffle detail, same kind of baby doll hemline on here, and then no gathering on the back. So it gives us that flat back detail. But again, this is one Christine and I both like true to size in, right? Yep. You like true to size yep. in this one too. Gives you that pretty flowiness, roomy fit, but where it's not real tight, not real fitted, but just a really nice fit with that pretty feminine neckline. You have that pretty scoop neckline and then the little bit of ruffle detail here around just the front on the neck. So we love, love, love this one. True to size and I really love it in all the colors. I love it in all the stripes and I absolutely love this fuchsia, which I think is beautiful for summer. I have this paired with the Can Can flares. Of course, I didn't wear it, put a wedge on, which is not like me in these flares because they're so long, but I wanted to be able to show you the shoe before we finish this live out. So um, I have on the Can Can Super High Rise Flare in size seven. Now I normally am a size nine in Can Cans. However, this flare um, does run roomy, so I size down one in them. These are already available on the site and they are a long inseam, I think a 35 inch inseam. So these are Christine has these herself and loves them. Yeah, I, um, I 34, like 34, 34 yeah. inch inseam on these. So they are again long, like we were talking about, the flares are long, um, but they are just phenomenal in this dark, non-distressed, has a little bit of that cat scratch on there. If you've never tried Can Can's rule of thumb is that you go up one size from your Judy Blue size. However, these do run roomy in this particular flare. So if you have questions on them, please feel free to message us or ask us. We are more than happy to help you with sizing um, the best that we can because we know it's hard to shop online sometimes, especially with boutique clothing and how things vary. So we totally get it and we will do our best to help you. Um, so I wanted to talk about these shoes, which do not match my outfit at all, but I'm like, I have to put them on and they don't work with my flare pants. Um, but these are called the survivor survivor, which we have had before, but they were called the journey. I thought it was the legacy, the legacy. You are right. So these are super cute. I love this uh, tan and I'll take better pictures of them and I'll 
post them um, with a skinny pant as intended. But these are a super cute sneaker. They zip up the back, which I love. You have that tan on the back and then the cream and tan cow print. And I wish I put them on when I had a skinny jean on, but I just forgot. So um, these are so comfortable. They run true to size. I'm in the set eight and a half, which is my normal shoe size. Like I said, close toed, I normally go up to a nine. These I'm very comfortable staying in the eight and a half, you guys. And I love, love, love them. I know some of you are probably have the legacy already, which is in that tan. Um, but we love them. They're so cute and they're cute with a boot cut. Um, and if you have a flare jean that's not quite so long, I mean, they would be cute with this and just giving you that little peak of the front. But I absolutely love these. So these are also releasing today and they're going to be a really great one for fall when you're wanting to starting, you're going to want to start to get into your closed toed shoes and that kind of thing again. So love these. And I think that covers that. Christine's laughing at me in my shoes and my flares. No, I'm, I'm disgusted. Why are we talking about fall? It's only <laughs> She July. cannot stand I talking about fall. Even. But reality is it's coming, right? Yeah, we'll deal with it when it's come here. <laughs> well, the problem is, is that we're going to be so behind. Every day is going to be like, Rachel and Christine, what happened? I have no fall clothes because... You didn't sell me any fall clothes and now it's freezing out. We can sell fall clothes a week before. <laughs> is, it, is there a fall, the autumnal equinox? Everybody's going to be getting their fall clothing like the day it's cold. Okay, do you need it the day before the day it's cold? <laughs> Just to plan your outfit in advance. Yeah, nope. I don't need to plan my outfits out in advance. I need to feel the temperature. This is how I gauge my outfits for the day. I wake up, I roll out of bed, I feed the dog, I go outside to feed the chickens and the goats and the roosters and go, ooh, it's warm. I'll wear shorts today. <laughs> is that what you do? <laughs> that is exactly what I do. Well, some of us like to be more prepared. So, okay. Well... At least I'm in a more appropriate shoe with these pants this time. My bracelets, however, don't match. But this is just what we go. Okay. Outfit number 17. I'm showing that love is all around blouse. Um, in It's available in small through 3X. And I am in the small, some classic black and whites today, which I love. Look at that fun ruffle. You guys, yes. Yeah. So... How pretty is this print? Great black and white floral. I think we just were talking about this the other day with even the fuchsia background and the mid background. Like these larger florals are super cool. And then um, I don't know how well y'all can see this. I'm gonna try to show it to you. But look at this ruffle that runs here along the sleeve and it wraps all the way around. Can you see that? Yeah, like you it can is see it as you're showing good. It. So it has like the cutest ruffle detail. I'll try to show you again um, that you can see in person, but of course with this print and the camera and all of that, but it is just the cutest little thing that runs around the arm and gives it such a fun detail. It has that baby fine elastic here to give you that little bit of billowing and then really kind of show that ruffle. Um, and it's the same kind of shape that we were talking about with that first blouse that we had on where it has roominess here. It's not real snug in the blouse or in the, in the bust, so I have some extra room. But again, it's not super long. So cute to do a little front tuck with if you wanted to wear this one um, with a pair of dress pants. You absolutely can wear it with a pet belt and dress pants is cute. The ruffle is just phenomenal. So I think that y'all are going to love this. Um, I will say I don't have a ton of extra room here in my arm. It's 100% either ran or polyester. Either one has no stretch. Um, where's the tag? There's no tag in this one. Um, it's got to be here somewhere. But this one is either 100. I don't know where the tag is. Oh, this was our fun batch. Um, it's 100% polyester. This one, tagging was super weird. It created major problems for us. Um, but 100% polyester, so there's no stretch. So no stretch in the arms. Um, I would say, like, if you are on the fence, should I do a medium? Should I do a large? Do a large in this one. That's going to be the safe size where you aren't going to want to size down in it um, because of just the amount of room in the arm and throughout the bust. So this would be one, if your flex sizes, go with the larger size. Sometimes a large, sometimes an extra large. Do the extra 
extra large in this one because that's going to give you enough room across the shoulders and in the bust. But you guys, that sleeve detail, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. When we unpacked this, I was like, ah, it is so good. So I have this pair done still with those Can Can um, wide legs for a fun look, like just a super fun like a dressy casual look and then I threw on a heel with it just a black heel um and to kind of dress it up some but absolutely love this piece you guys and I think that you are going to too so don't wait on those make sure to snatch them up while they are available and I think that covers today's live right we've talked about just that about everything so restock of earrings new shoes releasing today of course a whole ton of new goodies so we are going to go ahead and get these loaded to the site and the app where you guys can do your shopping if you have any questions please let us know feel free to shoot us a message we will answer as soon as we can we try to do our best to get back with you um but please 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 let us know if you need anything and thank you for spending Spending your Wednesday night with us. We love doing this with you and we just appreciate y'all being here with us every Wednesday. So um, happy shopping and we'll see y'all soon. Bye.